Okay, um, eight two, the reciprocity of forces. Number four, is there any circumstance in which an object one may exert a force on an object two without an equal reciprocal force being exerted by object two on object one? The answer is no. The answer is no. Forces always come in interactive pairs. So object one, uh, if this object applies a force there, this object will apply an equal and opposite force there. They always come in interactive pairs. Okay. Five, a cup filled with coffee. Okay, there's my cup on the table. Sits on the table. Okay, just use your imagination, please. Do the downward force, the cup, the cup exerts on the table, and the downward force, the coffee, there's the coffee, exerts on the cup. Do they form an interaction pair? Well, the answer is no. They don't form an interaction pair. Why is that? Because an interaction pair are exerted on the two objects of the pair. Okay, so the the forces we're considering are being exerted on different objects. The cup, the, the force of the cup on the table, right? There you've got the cup and the table. And in this case, you've got the coffee and the cup. So these are not being exerted on the same objects. Okay? Hope that makes sense. Alright. Six. What is the principal difference between a contact force and a field force? Well, a contact force is when the two objects are physically touching. They're physically touching. And a field force is when uh, they are not touching. Okay, it's pretty simple. They're not touching. Okay, an example of a field force. Actually, gravity is, is a field force. Uh, magnetism. Uh, the magnetic force is a field force. Okay, so it's like applying a force at a distance. At a distance. Okay. All right, seven, characterize each of the following as a contact force or a field force. A, the force that causes a book sliding across a polished floor to eventually slow down. Now, what are we talking about there? What force causes a book to slow down? That's friction. Is that a contact or a field force, it's a contact force. This is a contact force. B, the force that causes a wine glass. Okay, you, you push it and then it. A wine glass to fall down after it has been knocked off a table. What uh, is that a con what kind of, what force is that by the way? Well, the force that causes it to fall down is the gravitational force. And the gravitational force is a field force. Field force. So B is field. C, the force that causes one magnet to repel another. That's clearly a field force. They're not touching. They're, it's, an, it's a force that's applied at a distance. D, the force exerted by the wind on a sailboat. The wind... Uh, the force exerted by wind by the wind on a sailboat is that a contact or a field force? That is a contact force, right? It's the it's the wind pressure being applied to the sailboat, so that's a contact force. E, the force that causes an object attached to one end of a stretched rubber band to move towards the object. Uh, at uh, attached to the other end. Ok, 
Okay, clearly this would be a contact force. Okay, got a rubber band object there, and it's stretched, and so this um, rubber band is pushing it that way, right? And so there is contact, a contact force there. Okay, see you in the next one.